I woke up to a lovely power outage this morning. I was hoping to film yesterday, but it was a pretty lousy day yesterday. And I was really happy about today. I got up early. I was going to do all this filming. And then the power went out. So I can't do my... Uh, sorry, this is going to be... This is going to be a couple seconds of complaining. <laughs> I can't do my hair because my flat iron won't go on. I can't get warm. It's freezing in the house. I can't make my breakfast. I can't make my tea. <laughs> like, Boo-hoo. <laughs> But it's not supposed to come on until two o'clock in the afternoon. So it's, I'm gonna have to, I'm cold, really cold. I'm gonna probably put a hat on, bundle up or something. <sighs> so, yeah. Okay, I'm done complaining. Yay, the power went back on. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's only 10.30 a.m. My daughter will be waking up soon. She's sleeping in today, but uh, Sorry for all the noise, the heater's on. <laughs> I am so cold. I was so agitated and so frustrated. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab some chocolate milk and I'm gonna do some spinning. And I'm just going to like think about things and just kind of try to chill out and calm myself down. And I was just getting into this pattern, this peaceful, calm pattern, and then the lights went on. I was like, oh, I better go do my hair really quick before it goes out and turn the heat on before it goes out. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, Lord. It's on. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure what to do or what to talk about now. I'm, I'm just all, I feel calm after spinning, but I'm still a little scatterbrained. But what I did yesterday morning before we had to head off to OT is, well, I kind of, I started clearing off my art desk and my uh, carving desk. Let's see if I can. Actually, let me see if I can. How's, how's that? Okay, so I started working in my little journal um, just a little bit. I wrote down a list of all of my whips um, and then on the next page, I just gessoed. So I just used this gesso. I believe I got this from Walmart, Daler Rowney, Daler Rowney acrylic gesso. Um, but I got this like five years ago. <laughs> so it's pretty old. I don't know if Walmart carries it still. Um, but yeah, so when I gesso it, now what I can do is I can uh, either watercolor on the paper or I could um, write on the paper. I could stamp on the paper. Um, so that's what the gesso did. Here I just did kind of like a haphazard brush strokes and then here I smoothed it out a little more and I'm thinking I don't know I'm thinking of maybe doing another coat on this and maybe here I'm not sure look at my little toadstool stamp um I also came across my notes for different stamp ideas I might try but I honestly I did not enjoy making stamps so I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I mentioned showing you some books that I did um, with gesso. I'm gonna see if I can find that and I'll show it to you. So I don't think I've shown any of my art on this channel cause mainly it's knitting that I do here. Um, but I was telling you about these books that I used to make. What you would do is you would take just an old book that's gonna get thrown away and you rip um, pages out to kind of thin the book down a little and then you gesso pages together to make it thick. And then you gesso on top of what you've just glued, gessoed together. And then you have um, something prepared for paint, watercolor, ink, stamping, anything. Um, and then you decorate the outside. So it's that using some ephemera and uh, textures and stamps and things like that. I used to do this a lot, not so much anymore. Um, but this is the inside of the book, cool. That's pretty cool. See, this one's unfinished, this book. I uh, added some lace and then this was gonna go somewhere. I'm not sure where. And let's see, oh, I guess I did do some, I did some stuff in there, some cone flowers. 
This was a long time ago, 2013, before my daughter was born. Some fall. I, uh, I don't really do whimsical stuff as much anymore. I love mainly um, drawing animals. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. I really like that one. Anyways, and then another one. This was my Christmas book. I uh, added a texture on the top of the book. And actually there's, I haven't, I haven't filled a lot of it up. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's something I should, <laughs> maybe it's something I should get back to, I don't know. This was not my idea. This was in a class, actually. Um, and this is the last one I'll show you. Um, I'm not sure there's really much in here. Let's see, I believe the polka dots are tissue paper. I don't remember how I did the rest. <laughs> I never quite finished this page. butterfly. Kind of storybook and fun. <laughs> in love with the western cone flower. That's kind of what I like to do now is draw nature. I, I don't know if you've seen my toadstools, but um, I also love landscapes, which I have not practiced enough on. <laughs> Sweet potatoes. Popcorn. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. Stormy. But yeah, so that's, I love doing that. I don't do so much this anymore. Actually, I haven't really done this in a very long time. Um, it's mixed media. It's called mixed media. And it's kind of like paper crafting. There's too many components and it just gets too overwhelming. I'd rather just have paper and a, a journal, a watercolor journal book. That's what I prefer. Um, so there's a little bit of my artwork. Okay, I thought I would talk about my whip number. I don't know, I've lost track how many whips I've showed you. I haven't I've showed you maybe two or three, but there's this whip that I'm also working on. This is in my Christmas bag, and I believe it was um, fiber on there, from last year, Woolen Women Fibers Advent. Yes, there it is, Woolen Women Fibers. This is my Grinch scarf, or my Grinch infinity cowl. I don't remember. I think it was gonna be a scarf. Um, I watched the Grinch movie, the animation. It's not the original classic, um, but it's a remake and it was um, animated. This yarn is Woolen Women Fibers. This is their, oh, uh, I don't remember the name, Elf on a, you get a sock set. And I asked if she would get me a full skein of this and a full skein of, of the green and a full skein of the red because I liked this these colors so much. So yeah, it's just, I could make it into an infinity cowl Like so it clashes with the shirt. <laughs> I think I just wanted to do a regular scarf, but one that's really long that I can like wrap around twice. So I can wrap it around and then it can come down like this, like this. Um, this is my own pattern. It's pretty simple. I was thinking of writing it down. I don't know. I don't know if anyone would care cause it's so super simple. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to finish it. I. I could sew it close and then add tassels, or I could maybe do lace or some sort of a green, green or red scallop. I don't know. I was inspired by that Grinch animation because the Grinch wore this red and white scarf, this bold red and white scarf, and I thought, oh, that's so cool. Um, so that's what I was kind of copying. I started with a provisional cast on and then I'm just knitting in the round. So it's double-sided, it's not gonna curl on you. 
And I have some really cool charms on here. This is from Sam's Tiny Trinkets, and it came with this sock set. This Grinch. Come on. Come on, over here. Focus, 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 focus. The little box is on the Grinch, and yet, and yet I am the one in focus. Peekaboo. Isn't that perfect? Uh, perfect. Is it working? I can't tell. <laughs> but I thought he was super cute. And then I have one of my charms. And it's just a little Santa gnome carving that I did. I really, really wanted to do more of these. Because I loved it so much.
I'm going to call it a day. If you like this video, please consider clicking the like button. It's very helpful when you do that. And I love reading your comments, so thank you for everyone who's commented. Tomorrow I get to go to the Dickens Fair, which I'm really, really excited about. It's usually very dark in there, so hopefully I can get some good crisp footage. We shall see. Um, but if I do get some footage, I will definitely share that with you. I'll see you in episode six. Thank you for watching.